First, let me just say thank you very much for coming. Um, often when one has an idea and uh, tortures his friends and family, particularly his wife, about the idea, and it is, it is quite encouraging to eventually decide to do something about it, you see that those that, that you value quite, quite strong in your life, those that you meet in your profession, those that you admire from a distance, um, coming to support it. So thank you very much for everybody that's here. Very, very briefly, and trust me, I will be brief, um, for as long as I can remember, I've wanted to be an entrepreneur. I think I see my mother in the working section. <laughs> okay, I had no idea that was happening. <laughs> for as long as I can remember, I've always wanted to be an entrepreneur. I later realized um, that an overwhelming number of aspiring South Africans also wanted to be entrepreneurs, but actually have no idea. I think I should stop right now. <laughs> wow. Thank you. Yo, I'm, I hope I'm going to get through this. <laughs> so, hello, Mom. How are you? How did you get here? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, let's start that again. First of all, on a serious note, thank you very much for coming. Thank you, Mom, for coming. <laughs> um, for as long as I can remember, I wanted to be an entrepreneur. But as and when I got through my career and I met many people who helped me through this journey, particularly Cynthia and Kevin, I realized that many of our people, particularly black people, um, in them aspiring to be entrepreneurs don't eventually become for a number of reasons. I realize that the main reason for that is just access to basic resources and access to basic skills. Whilst everybody wants to help entrepreneurship, whilst everybody talks about the importance of it in the economy, I kind of find that the stuff that we do, or at least that the government, that we've kind of abdicated to the government to do, doesn't quite hit the nail on the head. So, after many years of self-searching, I realized that um, I particularly have a calling to do something about it. And whilst I do not want this to be about Andile, I really want this to be about building and entrenching a culture of entrepreneurship. I decided one night to go down to my study and start working on this idea. And thanks to many blessings that I enjoy, I am here before you to present this. I decided to launch my startup with a single-minded objective to help galvanize South Africans to become a nation of entrepreneurs in the hope to encourage a culture of starting new businesses and spawning brand new industries. Due to the unjust socio-political history of our country that all of you are aware of, many of us do not come from a culture where entrepreneurship was encouraged. It wasn't even discussed. The only entrepreneurs I knew was a guy on the butchery, or the ball store, or on taxis. There's a part of this country who grew up knowing that Uncle So-and-so owns a plumbing company. Uncle So-and-so is a self-made electrician. Uncle So-and-so is in construction. We don't come from that background. So that culture in the majority of our people isn't there. It just isn't. So, and what happens then is that many of us become micro-entrepreneurs by default or by circumstance. How many people do you know that they start selling stuff. Uh, my grandmother sold stuff. Given's grandmother sold stuff. I'm sure half of your grandmother sold stuff. Because it wasn't because that's the plan that they had for their careers. It was largely by, by default or circumstance as opposed to by, by design and by intent. So couple that with an inferior education system that's effectively created a cheap workforce to supply into a capitalist view. We end up with a society that's inundated with job seekers not enough job creators. 19 years of democracy later, that legacy continues to hold us. So it's my strong conviction, ladies and gentlemen, that for sustainable economic growth, eradication of extreme poverty, a culture of entrepreneurship among South Africans is critical. This culture needs to be encouraged, it needs to be harnessed, and it needs to be supported. So after two years of spending lots of money, 
irritating bonk, and a lot of my friends, including Kevin and and my and my wife, Mandisa, I decided to build this baby that I'm hoping we put out there into the world, put it out into the ether, and get the support of you, the entrepreneurs. We want to help find, develop, motivate, and support all South African entrepreneurs and those who have aspirations of becoming entrepreneurs. We want to harness the power of innovation and the power of technology to achieve this. We do not create another business organization. We already have the BBCs, the BMFs. We can create an online platform where all entrepreneurs can converge. And we can become a community that when those dark and lonely days happen, because they tend to happen around the end of the month for us. When those days happen, you don't feel alone, you have a community. So I hereby give you the My Startup platform. It is available on mystartupessay.com and it is where existing and aspirant entrepreneurs will be able to register and join a network of entrepreneurs. All of this for the entrepreneur is absolutely free. All of the features of the site and the platform will involve, number one, a network. So what we've built into the portal is a network that merges Facebook and Twitter. So if you're on the platform, you are happy to share information and share all sorts of other information. So whilst I get on Twitter, which is my preferred social network, socially, this is a platform where I'll get to when I just want to hear what other entrepreneurs want to say about entrepreneurship, about the NEF announcement last week that they need recapitalization, about the couple of trillions of rands that government is going to spend on the, on the CapEx spend, about the many things that happen in our world. There's no one place to do that. This will be the place to do that. When you as an entrepreneur register, anybody that's on the platform will be able to follow you, and in that way, pick up anything that you share, whether you like a video, whether you comment on our forums that I'll talk about now. In fact, let's go straight to our forums. We have built a platform called Forums, and in that platform, we've got rooms, virtual rooms, where entrepreneurs can talk about whatever the topic is that is in that particular room. So if you want to talk about access to capital, we have a virtual forum that does that. And what you will see as the, as, the, as the site grows is that entrepreneurs are going to pick the topics that they want to talk about. So if you're an oil and gas man like Malusu, you'll be able to get into a room that discusses energy and you'll hear what every other entrepreneur, not in Georgia, not in Khaute, not even in South Africa, it could be all around the world. One platform for you to hear what the conversation is. Experts we have been lucky enough, and thank you very much for the experts that agreed to be experts. I saw a few here today. I saw Wendy, I saw uh, Zola, I saw, I saw Vey. We've got experts that have uh, volunteered their time and energy. And how that will work is that an expert will run for a period of a month. So for a particular month, we will have, call it a property expert. That expert will be featured on there. So if you see on the site, I'm called an expert, I'm not really the expert. And that particular expert, as you can see, there's a feature for them to ask a question and chat to them. Effectively, what that means is that every aspirant entrepreneur, whether they're Numlazi, Dansani, or Harango, they can send a question to someone they will probably never meet, to someone they will probably never have an opportunity to ask a question. They can send it through our back-end system. Those questions are collected for, them, for, that particular, for that particular expert. They take time every week, answer all the questions as many as they can get through. And those are stored on the website under the chats. So if you didn't ask a question, but you are interested in what given him courage to say when he was the expert, you can see all the questions that other users would have used. Again, trying to create a platform to give more value or more worth for entrepreneurs because it can be cold and dark out there, especially when you're starting out. We will have an online store of sorts where you can download all sorts of templates. I kind of find, um, certainly in my work at MSG Africa, the kind of legal documents that I use are pretty much the same document. The kind of templates that I use, a DCF is a DCF is a DCF. You know, the, the, the formula is the same thing we all learned in varsity. But an entrepreneur who's trying to do his own desktop valuation has no idea where to start. How about giving him a template? How about encouraging developers to develop a very simple step-by-step -step template on how to value a company? Business plans, the stuff that you download on Google is either UK or US. There's nothing in the format that the NEF or the IDC wants it. You have to do your own thing from scratch. Do you know how hard it is to start from a blank page when all you have is a dream? We are hoping that we can change, change some of that. Of course, it will be driven by content. As you can see, we've got a leading story in today's website when you log on later. 
uh, take control of your mind and wealth by that gentleman there that you all know from Rich Dad Poor Dad. And what we've done is that we've sourced all sorts of uh, news sources to place content that's relevant to entrepreneurs. So whereas you buy your magazines, I mean, I don't know about you, but even when I buy an entrepreneurial magazine, there are elements of it that are not quite as related to me, the entrepreneur in South Africa, who's starting out in the history that we come from in South Africa. Uh, what we are going to try and do is, is make sure that that content is very, very specific to you. We also have videos um, that are there for inspiration. Many of you have seen the Steve Jobs video that he gave at a graduation. Many of you have seen it many times. Those kind of videos. Because sometimes, you just lay on your bed, get on your iPad, and just get some inspiration. You are not want to call, it's 2 a.m. because you have a presentation at 7 and you can't sleep. You can log into the site and just listen to something. And you know when you go to the site, you will find that which you look for as opposed to um, looking for information all over. At an activations level, um, I was having a chat with uh, the president of the BBC, our guest of honor today, and I was saying that, you know, it's organizations like that, um, uh, BMF, Nicholas Murray, the CEO is here, it's organizations like that that will help us, that will take this and do all of the activations on the ground. We shouldn't be having these things in Sandton. We should have the launch in Sandton, that's about it. Because the need for this stuff is realized, it's incredible. It's in a cool lit. That's the marketing manager, or marketing director, head of marketing. So it's a good thing that you are here. So we are hoping then to take this thing that exists in this ether called the internet. Thankfully, the internet you can build it to whatever you want to be. It's no longer bricks and mortar where you have to build new buildings. This thing can become anything that we want it to be. But I thought that sometimes someone just gotta stop, right? Someone just gotta get it going. So I hereby take the risk of getting it going. <laughs> so I encourage you all to please log in and register. Be active on the platform. Um, tell info at mass.msa.com what you like, what you don't like. Um, and let's try and build this thing and try and build this culture that some of us share here in the room. I know a lot of you personally because you either are already on your own or even at work, even in the corporate you're in, you're an entrepreneur. And I think that mindset certainly can grow and influence many of our people. Um, tonight, you would have noticed that a lot of you, all of you, took head and shoulder shots. Um, the reason why we took your ID pictures is because you are going to be the top 100 of my startup. Tonight, with 100 guests, including media, you will be forever the first 100 people to have been. So I hope that you are able to spread the message. I hope you're able to spread the message to, to all in Sunbury. So finally, let me thank all my friends and family who supported me through the past few years and heard the many stories about this. I hope to allow your continued support. I really do. This is only the beginning. Um, to really build this and make it what, it what it needs to be. I am very excited about my startup and the potential to drive a revolution in entrepreneurship. I sincerely hope that it helps making you a better entrepreneur and making our country a better South Africa. I have